Hi everyone, it's Patty Behan, and thank you for joining me in the studio today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to doodle with Perfect Pens. So let's get started. All right, to start, let me just tell you about our Perfect Medium Pens. Um, it comes in a bullet tip, and just looks like that. And then we also have a brush tip. And then it looks like so. So in this demonstration, I'm going to be using the bullet tip. And what I've done here already is I started a card and I have this dress, heavyweight black matte cardstock, and then we stamped an image and embossed it in white. And the color here is just an inked background. Um, so we're going to use the pens to write a sentiment and to do a little doodling. So I'm going to write the word congrats. And so I'll just go ahead and do that. And the great thing about these pens is that they stay wet for a pretty long time so that you can have good open time and you don't have to rush so much, especially when you're doing hand lettering. I know that I need to concentrate and I kind of go slow. So also, if you wanna um, pencil your word first, it, you won't see it on the black cardstock, so you could go ahead and do that. And I'm just gonna write congrats. So, and then I'm also just, cause this is a little plain, I'm gonna put some little sprigs of color here. And I think before I put the pearls, I'm gonna go ahead and draw those as well. So just make some little sprigs here, kind of uh, mimicking what's already in my stamp design. So just give it a little more interest to the card. I'll put one down here, go off the page. So, and I think I want to bring that out a little bit. You can always fix your mistakes. There, that looks better. And let me just, this looks like it might be drying a little. I'm just going over real quick. Okay, so now we're gonna apply the pearls. I'm going to use turquoise on the words and let me bring this up so that you see it. I'm gonna use turquoise for the word and I'm gonna take my small brush and I'm just gonna sprinkle it across like so. You don't need a whole lot and try to make the pearls land where the ink is. So you, so that'll, you get the most on the wet ink. Okay, that looks good. I'm just gonna wipe my brush off here on my hand. And then for the sprigs, I'm gonna use some Forever Green. Same thing, I'll sprinkle this on here. Just a little bit is all you need. And you can use the pens to do all types of doodling. And I have some examples 
I'll show you when I'm done with this. And also, you can use the uh, these same pens to with embossing powder. We do have embossing pens too, but if you already have the perfect medium pens, they'll work for embossing. And then after that, we'll just take our large brush and we'll pounce the pearls onto what we've already put down there. And I'm wiping off my brush in between. And then once it's all worked in, you can remove the excess. And I'm wiping my brush off in between each time on the side. And then I've got most of it off. And I'm just gonna take a paper towel to get the rest of it off. And what you wanna do is you can wipe over the pearls, but just do it lightly. You don't wanna wipe it off. You just wanna get the excess off. Okay. And that looks good. Let me bring it up closer so you can see how pretty that looks. And I'm gonna, you know, as I'm looking at this, I really feel like it needs a little something. So I'm gonna make up a, a little paint and I'm gonna do some splatters. So I have my jar here the lid, I should say, and I'm gonna put some pearls in there. And I'll miss some water to make a paint. Mix it up. I need a little more. Get that out of the way. Add some more water. we want to have a, a lot of um, paint in here and we want it to be loose so that we can make the splatters. So I just make sure that I get a lot of paint on my brush and I'm just going to add a little bit more. I just think that gives it a little more of a finished look so that it doesn't look so plain because our bot, the bottom is kind of busy. And I think I'm going to go ahead and make some green paint as well. Add some water to this. And then since I'm um, using water with the pearls, there's no need to seal it because whenever you add water to the pearls, it, it will seal itself. Okay, so I think that that does it. Bring it closer. So you see how that just adds a little something extra. I'm gonna clean off my area and then I'm gonna put this together as this kind of dries. Okay, so I have a top folding card here and I think this is dry and I have a tape runner. Move that over. And I'm just gonna adhere this to the center of that card there and then we'll be done with that. Beautiful, that was the perfect touch. So let me show you what else we've done with this technique.
this is a lot of fun. It was just some lines and dots and dashes, and then we applied different colors for like a rainbow effect. Here we just wrote the word lucky and it's outlined with some white gel pen. That's a great way to make it stand out. And here, this is a background stamp that we dusted with the Perfect Pearls and just wrote the sentiment on the heart. This is another card where the background is dusted with Perfect Pearls and then just handwritten with the pens. And then another thing you could do is you can take pattern paper and then use your pen to color in areas and then put perfect pearls on it. And then of course you can add your sentiment with the pen and handwriting. So I hope this gives you some ideas and you'll give it a try. And if you'd like to see more techniques with perfect pearls, continue to watch this series and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.